OBS Studio audio settings honestly sucks balls because when you're first starting out as a beginner, it's so overwhelming. So that's why I'm gonna break it down super simple and easy so that way you don't end up with beard hair patches like myself. So let's jump into OBS Studio. So to get us started, you can see at the very bottom, this is the audio mixer. These are gonna be your different audio sources. So in this case, I have my desktop audio, which is gonna be anything that comes out of my desktop computer, my game volume, any music that's playing in a browser and that sort of thing. Then below it, we have our microphone settings because obviously you can hear that when I'm talking to my mic, the little bars going up. So that just means that it's accurately hearing us. And then you can see we have these little volume knobs below, which just adjust the volume. So if you want it more quiet, go to the left. You want it louder, you go to the right. And usually when you see this stuff, you don't want it peaking all the way to the right in the hard red and staying there. But this little black line that's going dancing between the green and the yellow is usually a good spot to try and keep your audio at. So that way you're not blowing out your listeners ears, which I am truly guilty of. So this might seem like common sense and easy, which it is. That's why I started with it first. But now it's time to get into the more advanced settings. But if you guys are too distracted by this cool overlay that I have here, I actually got it for free from Own Pro, and you guys can too. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can quickly check this out. Click on join for free, click that quick download button. We're gonna make sure we download it for the most recent version of OBS Studio. Then we can run the installation process. Now we need to close OBS Studio and reopen it. Otherwise, the changes are not gonna be shown. And now you can see next to the help tab, we have the Own Pro tab. We can click on overlay and alert store. And then you can see we got access to these free overlays at the top, completely free. You can see all of the preview and the showcase on this page here. Then you can click install when you're ready. And now you have this cool overlay completely free for your OBS studio. So shout outs to Own Pro for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate you guys. But now that we've gone over the basics of the audio mixer, we need to get in the nitty gritty. So we're gonna go into the settings tab in the bottom right. And then we're actually gonna go to the stream tab. Make sure your Twitch account is connected if you're streaming to Twitch. And then we're gonna go to the audio tab. Sample rate, we're gonna go to 48 kilohertz, channel stereo, the desktop audio device, Device. If you know where your speakers are coming out of or where your game volume or where you're listening to, then you can select that. Chances are default will be your option. But in this case, I know that all my stuff's coming out of the Yamaha zg one speakers, but that's also my default selected in Windows 10, which I'm using. So I'm gonna leave it on default. Next, I'm gonna pick my microphone. So I'm gonna click microphone and then I'm gonna pick the one I'm using now, which happens to be the voice because I have it plugged into my audio interface. So I'm gonna pick voice, but you just pick wherever yours is located. So now we have our desktop audio, which is our game audio, our music, through a browser or anything that comes out of our computer. And then I have my microphone set up here. And that's all we gotta do for now on this page. So then we'll click apply, hit okay. And if you see now, we have our little microphone mixer right there. And when I'm talking, it shows up in the actual audio mixer. So now we can actually go to the audio mixer advanced properties by clicking this little cog wheel here. And you can see we have all of our different audio sources, even if they're not actually producing audio. All the own pro stuff we installed earlier, these aren't actually producing audio, but they show up as an audio source. So we are just going to pay attention to the desktop audio and the mic audio because we know that there's going to be audio coming out of those sources. So the most important things you need to be aware of, this little mono button, if you are talking out of your microphone and people are only hearing you coming out of one ear, then you simply just need to enable the mono feature and that'll make sure that they hear you out of both ears instead of just one. If that's not the case, then don't worry about it. You can leave it unchecked. If for whatever reason, your video and your audio are delayed, so when I'm talking and the words coming out of my mouth are not matching the picture, you can add a sync offset and you can try and offset offset that so it's nice and synced up for whatever reason that might be. The audio monitoring is actually super convenient, especially when you're checking out your microphone, you wanna see how you sound. And if I click on monitor only, mute output, then I can hear myself in my headphones and the chat and nobody else is gonna hear me. But if I wanna hear myself on stream and I want chat to hear them, then I'll go and click on this and then I'll click on monitor and output. So that way they can hear what's coming out of my mic and I can hear myself in my headphones. But mainly I like to use monitor only only before stream, see how I sound, make adjustments, which I'll show you at the end of the video on how to make your microphone sound the absolute best. Even if you're using a little dinky microphone, you spent 15 bucks on Amazon, I'll make you sound a lot better. <laughs> now the tracks next to this, this is where things get really interesting. So we're just gonna keep an eye on tracks one, two, and three. You can see right now we have all six tracks enabled for everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go over to the settings. And by the way, if you guys want more helpful videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so you YouTube recommends these more to you. And if you absolutely hate my guts, then don't bother. But now we're gonna go to the output tab. We're gonna switch the output mode to advanced. And now you can see that we have streaming settings, audio track one. That means that any of our audio sources that are enabled for track one is going to be on our stream track. So just remember audio track one, this is for our stream. In this case, it happens to be a Twitch stream. So I'm gonna click okay. We're gonna go back to the advanced settings. So anything that's enabled on track one, the Twitch stream is gonna be hearing. So my desktop audio is enabled 
enabled on track one. If I were to disable track one for the desktop audio, they wouldn't be able to hear anything coming from my computer. So that's music coming from my browser, my game audio, anything like that. Or if I disable my mic, then stream's not gonna really hear anything because they don't hear the game audio, they don't hear myself. But that's what disabling or enabling things on track one will do. That's specifically for your stream unless you change it. But it's gonna get even more interesting and a lot more helpful. So actually, let's go back. So we'll do settings again, we'll go to output. But instead of the stream settings, we're actually gonna go to the recording settings. Now this is where things get kind of tricky and a little confusing, but I'll do my best to kind of show you what's up because it's actually really helpful. As you can see here, I have audio tracks two and three enabled. Now that means whenever I do a recording, I'm actually having two audio tracks running at the same time. So that way, when I export my video into a video editing software, it's gonna have the video footage and it's gonna have two audio tracks below. Now you can see I have audio tracks two and three enabled. I would like to have the game volume disabled on track three and my mic volume disabled on track two. I have one track just recording the game volume and not my mic because I have that enabled on track two and mic disabled on track two. And then I have the inverse for track three. So just to give you guys a better idea of how this actually looks, I've opened up my video editing software, which happens to be DaVinci Resolve, which is completely free by the way. But I've gone ahead and done a quick gameplay recording so you guys can see how the audio tracks come into play. So I got my file here. I'm just gonna drag it into my timeline. And now you can see we have two audio tracks. This top audio track is just the game volume. So if I mute this track, which is myself, then I'll play it. You can hear that we have the game volume, but you don't hear myself. Now, if I mute this track and I unmute myself, then I will play it very quickly. Right. Otherwise, if it just takes. So now you are able to adjust your microphone volume. If you want to crank that three times from left to right, like Soldier Boy, or if you want to bring it down, you want to lower it, maybe you're screaming, but this will just give you so much more freedom to adjust your audio levels to make your recordings look as best as possible. So we'll do one more thing and that's by going to the settings. Then we'll go to output one more time and then we'll go to audio. I just like having my audio bit right at the highest, which is 320 for all of them, just to make sure that you guys are getting the absolute best audio quality for your streams and your recordings, because why wouldn't you not? So if you guys wanna learn how to make your microphone sound the absolute best that it can be, watch this video to the side of me. It's gonna help you out so much. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.